Hey guys, Ant from here, and welcome to Ant Farm Corruption, the brand new Ant Farm Survival style map that is one kilometer long and has more dungeons than I'm probably even going to know what to do with. I have no idea how long the series is going to last, but I have a feeling I'm going to have a blast all throughout. Ha 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 ha, last blast. See what I did there? I rhymed something because I'm cool like that. Anyways, uh, yeah, so the original Ant Farm trilogy was made by MG Platinum, and this new one was made by myself and the Voxabox, and the Voxabox did the vast majority of the work on this map. They were absolute bosses, and they really overperformed with this map. It's amazing. So, yeah. Um, if you guys want to see any of my original Ant Farm, uh, videos, you know, Ant Farm Survival, Extreme Ant Farm, Forbidden Ant Farm, Bottle Ant Farm, Sky Ant Farm and Extreme Sky Ant Farm, be sure to check out the playlist in the description below where you can find all of those in order and along with this series as well as it winds up progressing. So be sure to check that out. But without any further ado, let's just go ahead and let's just launch it into this here. We got some rules and we got some notes over there. We got some goals over there. So the rules and the notes are pretty typical. It's just don't change your game mode and have fun, you know, because uh, I actually think this map like manages your game mode at certain points. So it would be a really bad idea to change it yourself. And and then uh, one note that I did want to actually give you guys is that I'm not sure if the map works in multiplayer. I think it does, but I think if two players do the same dungeon at the same time or different dungeons at the same time, then it can really actually break things. So don't do that, I guess. You know, let me know if it's working in multiplayer or not. I really, I have no clue. All right. And the goals for the map are to complete the eight mega dungeons and there's also medals in those dungeons that you can collect just for sort of like swag points but they're not required for anything uh, to collect all eight speed dungeon medals those are dungeons that occur within the map itself the mega dungeons are external dungeons uh, that occur outside of the map and then to collect all 13 bonus chest medals from the mega dungeons so they're sort of like bonus side goals for the mega dungeons themselves and then to trigger the end credits or the ending credits because it's not actually the end credits from the end realm so yeah all right anyways without any further ado i think the moment you all you all have been waiting for is for me to just get started so let's go ahead and let's do that here all right so your game mode has been updated to survival mode cleanse forget collapse and fall all right so those are probably some keywords that we're gonna have to keep in mind here so all right Looks like this is a- oh god, there's actually mobs in that room already. Uh, maybe I should avoid that room. Um, okay, like I was looking at this windmill, I'm like, that's gonna make a neat house, but you know, maybe I probably shouldn't mess around with this. Uh, but, I mean, we're gonna be doing a lot of exploring, and again, this map is a kilometer long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna up my render distance, actually, because it's kinda low. Let's go ahead and let's up at the 16 here. There we go. And, uh, yeah, this map is gonna take a long time to traverse the entire thing. Okay, so I guess first things first is we probably should get our, you know, standard survival tools. You know, um, I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking by the end of this episode, I probably at least want some iron stuff. I don't really know exactly what the spread of that is gonna be if, uh, this is gonna be, like, super duper like um what do you say deprived of resources like it was in sky ant farm i do know that it's not nearly that deprived and i mean obviously there's stone all around me here and it actually uh, there's some coal over there so i'm probably going to be pretty good uh my instruction for the voxa box when it came to making or setting up the resources for this map is that i wanted there to be about as many resources as you would find in survival minecraft i didn't want you know like resource gathering to be this giant problem with the map like it was with uh you know uh sky ant farm so yeah all right let's go and let's make our basic tools here i do need to be careful of the mobs though i think one of them might be coming after me no okay i think i'm actually good my only worry really would be a creeper coming out of there but i don't even think that's gonna be oh god Okay, I got a skeleton coming after me already. Uh, hopefully it burns up in the daylight, which is exactly what it's doing. Dude, skeleton! Don't, don't do that. Okay, anyways, um, let's see. We got, we got, I want to go, go after that coal, and I also want to get some of this cobblestone as well. Actually, let's get the cobblestone first, because it's going to be a lot quicker to actually, you know, mine up all this coal and get things going. 
So if you guys have any questions about the map itself or you have any comments or, you know, things about the map that you would like me to talk about, uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section below of this video or feel free to let me know uh, twitter.com slash antvenom. You know, you just follow me there and, you know, uh, that will be probably a much better place actually to ask me questions because I don't always go back to, you know, every single video on my channel to look up if there are questions. But on Twitter, it's a lot easier and you can like reference what video you're talking about or whatever, you know, I think that would probably be a good idea. It looks like some of these are cobblestone slabs. I don't think I'm going to need those. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's just mine up the regular stone, I guess. But yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of thinking like, I I've been looking forward to having a map like this for just such a long time. Just having like a real awesome ant farm to just, you know, finally sink my teeth into. Okay, cobblestone slabs. I, I don't I don't need these. I don't need this. All right, uh, let's go ahead and let's do this. Okay, so we got ourselves 24 cobblestone. I think that's probably going to be enough for now. Why am I putting a crafting table into a crafting spot? Imagine if there was a crafting recipe that actually involved the crafting table being put into a crafting table. Yo, dog, heard you like crafting, so you can do crafting while you're crafting and stuff. Yeah. All right. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and let's just let's let's just continue this here. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's make ourselves a pickaxe. Let's go ahead and let's do this. I'm I'm getting achievements like crazy. Let's go ahead and let's do. Okay. Let's do that. Bam. Let's actually get some more sticks. Bam. And let's see. Bam. Bam, and then let's go ahead and let's do that. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and let's organize it. One, two, and three. And what I'm probably also going to need as well is an axe because I know that I'm probably going to be chopping down a lot of wood as well. Um, I can actually see some trees on the top left of the screen. So seems like as far as resources are concerned, um, the voxel box pretty much listened to what I wanted and made it so that there was, you know, like resources very similar to what is in survival Minecraft. I'm glad they did that because, you know, lacking resources is not something I was really looking forward to. I mean, if I have to like, you know, do a good looking around for some resources, that's fine, but I don't want to have to like just be completely owned when it comes to resources. Like, I don't want, how do I word this? I don't want like 90% of episodes to be me looking for iron. You know, if it's a good 20, 30%, that's cool because that's what it's like in survival Minecraft. All right. So let's see here. So I got myself some my regular survival tools. I think what I'm going to have to concern myself with next is food. And I actually saw a cow over. Oh God. Okay. I saw a cow. Uh, let me, let me own this guy. Um, Okay, good. Awesome. Oh, we got Monster Hunter already. There is a creeper in there. I do not want to make that creeper mad. I saw a cow back here. Cow, you're gonna die. Cow, you're gonna die whether you like it or not. There is a zombie somewhere very close by. I only got one piece of steak. That cow is hoarding. Okay, like, I would imagine that you would get, like, way more than one single steak from an entire cow. You would be, like, a really terrible butcher if you, like, you know, from a cow, you only got one steak. Like, I, I can't even imagine... I can't even imagine that that would be efficient at all. All right, so I'm definitely need some food. I got some raw beef. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get myself some seeds as well. I think that'll be a good idea, just in case. I, I again, I don't really know like what the food share is on this map. How easy it is to get it. How hard it is to get it. I honestly, I don't have a clue. Okay. Um, let's see. So we got ourselves four seeds. All right. I'm probably gonna need a bucket as well. I'm just like. Because I've done survival Minecraft so many times, I just, I'm just going. I'm just trying to rock it. You know, I'm just trying to, like, get everything done as quickly as I can. Oh, God. I, 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 I was going to say, are you guys not taking damage because you're on fire? Ow. I got hit already. Okay. Bam. Bam. Okay. Well, we got some rotten flesh in case we're going to need that as well. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a quick look around for some resources just to see what's around on this map here because, uh, I th again, I'm going to need some iron. So, let's go ahead and let's take a look around here. So, all right. Let's see here. Uh, I need to be careful of skeletons though in case one is going to shoot me down. Looks like there's a cave down there. I might want to be really, really careful. So, we got some coal. We got some iron. We got some iron. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to be starved for resources at all. That I'm, I can't begin to describe to you guys how happy I am about that. And uh, there's some iron down there as well. So maybe I should just go after that iron right there. Just like YOLO jump down and uh, then just climb back up with some dirt blocks or something. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab some dirt blocks here. Bam, just like this. And uh, yeah, okay. So probably going to need what, like 30 or something in order to be able to climb back up. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to grab all that iron as much as I can anyways. Because uh, it might actually be a cool idea to have like a full set of iron armor, even if it's just basic iron armor. I don't think I'm going to be enchanting anytime soon because I don't have an enchantment table and it's probably going to be a long time until I get diamonds. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and let's see here. So bam, bam. Okay, all right, let's see. We got, oh, we got 41. That's actually a little bit much. Okay, and yeah, and as you can see, our hunger is already starting to go down if you look at this here. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to prep up the furnace here. Um, and I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cook this up really quickly before jumping down. Oh God. I heard the noise from the furnace and I'm like, what mob is that? What mob is that? I thought I was getting like shulkered so hard for a second. All right, let's go and let's grab this bam and then let's go and let's head back down. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, I probably shouldn't break a furnace with a shovel. I would imagine that would be bad. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, I don't see anything immediately in that cave. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to this. Then I'm going to try something kind of tricky, and ah, that didn't work. That didn't work the way that I wanted. Okay, that's fine. I knew that I wouldn't die from the fall, but I was trying to, like, place a block on the fence on the way down, but it didn't actually work, like, at all. Okay, let's go ahead and let's eat here. Okay, um, let's go ahead and let's grab this iron here. So we can actually get a better look at some of the bottom portions of this map by uh, looking at it from up here. So that'll be kind of cool. Okay, and there's actually more iron way over there. That's actually super awesome. Bam, we got some uh, iron there. We got a whole bunch of coal there, some more iron on the bottom. Yeah, resources are not going to be a problem on this map. I I'm like heavily, heavily looking forward to that. Okay, let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's uh, let's head over there. There's a piece of glass right there. That is that is kind of a derp. Maybe lightning struck right there. Um, because if lightning strikes sand, like you'll get a variant of glass. So that'll be kind of that. That would be that would be funny. That would actually be awesome if that happened in real Minecraft. Someone should make a mod like that, where if lightning naturally strikes, it just sets like this random. Well, not random, but like it sets a portion of the area like on fire for a little bit, and then it turns to glass really quickly. If uh, it lands on, like, you know, if it lands on sand or whatever. I mean, if lightning strikes a tree, that tree is done. Not like it is in Minecraft where it's just like a tiny little bit of fire that instantly goes out to rain. That tree is, if it strikes a tree directly, that tree is just going to split wide open. So that would be awesome if that was kind of more realistic in Minecraft. All right, let's see here. We got ourselves nine coal, uh, nine iron ore. Oh, we got some more he right here, actually. Awesome. Okay, that's good. That's good. So we're going to have plenty for this episode. Uh, let's see. What time is it? Oh, oh God. Okay. Oh, it's actually turning nighttime. We're going to need to be a little bit quick about this because uh, mobs could wind up spawning in that cave and that might might wind up screwing me over a little bit. Okay, let's see here. Bam. Bam. I'm not sure what I hear walking around. I heard something. I think it was just a chicken though, actually. I, it sounded like really light pitter-pattering, which I think is what a chicken walking sounds like. Yeah, it's just a chicken. Okay. All right. Wow. We're getting plenty of this stuff. This is actually a really convenient big pocket. And then there's glowstone right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's head back up this. Uh, come on. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, okay. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Anything in that cave? It looks like I might be getting really, really lucky with that cave spawn. I mean, we, we are in normal mode. There are mobs all around here and we are in a absolutely normal mode. So not really a problem there. Okay. Let's see here. Um, I get, all right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to head back. And we're going to start from there. So let's see here. So go down here, go down here. I don't know, actually. I mean, do I really need to make that my home at all? I have everything on me. I mean, I guess the biggest fear right now would be uh, if I wound up encountering like, oh God, actually, it's already going to be nighttime. You know, since it is officially nighttime, going up there might be a bad idea, but I think that's what I'm going to do. My gut instinct is telling me that staying within the beginning area, at least for the beginning of the map, is going to be a better idea. So yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah, there's, there's, okay, there's a skeleton in that cave. I'm probably not going to want to tempt the skeleton. That would, uh, that would be bad. Like, imagine if I actually fell off the map already. Okay, uh, let's see. It's just spiders. Uh, just the spider and the skeleton. Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, we need to be a little, little bit careful. Just in case, you know, mobs have spawned by here. I, I would, again, hate to be knocked off the map. Okay, let's see here. Um, all right, cool, cool, cool. So it doesn't seem like there's really anything that has spawned in this area. You know what I just kind of realized, actually? What what uh would be really useful? Okay. Is is there really, like, no mobs over here? That's actually kind of crazy. Um, probably because there's just so much surface area for them to spawn otherwise. But uh, I can take probably some of these uh, some of this wool right here, and then I can craft myself a bed. But actually, let me know in the comment section down below. Would you rather that I just deal with the night cycles, or would you rather that I sleep through the night cycles? Because I feel like it might actually be kind of interesting to have to deal with the night cycles. Um, you know what? I'm going to deal with this for it first night cycle. I'm just going to leave it be. I'll have the wool on me, but I'm going to deal with this night cycle. 
So we're just going to call it good. Okay, I'm like already starting to starve a little bit. Um, but I did see some cows over there. So yeah, we're going to have to just head over there. Oh god, okay. That, that got me really quickly. I don't want to be messing with an enderman right now. That would be bad. Because uh, I am not equipped health-wise to deal with an enderman. Okay, let's go ahead and let's head over here. So, I did see that there are two cows over there. There are some chickens as well. But I want to be really careful when it comes... Oh, God. Okay, there's <laughs> there's a skeleton on top of the crane. Okay, there's nothing in there. There's a lot of iron in there. Okay, you know what? I'm actually... I'm just going to stay right here. I'm just going to stay on this thing. Yeah, hopefully mobs don't completely own me. I'm just going to chill right here. Okay, bam. Bam. We're just going to cook this up. I'm just going to... I hear some- okay. Oh, there's a zombie after me. Okay, that that's actually fine. Okay. Bam. 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 Oh my god, these guys take a lot of hits to die. I guess I don't have a diamond sword. That's usually what I'm used to having, actually, is a diamond sword. Okay, so I am going to just cook up a bunch of iron, have some iron tools, and hopefully we'll be able to just go at it here. We'll, we'll be able to just rock it. We'll be able to just do whatever we want to do. Alright, let's see. Again, just a lot going through my mind here. Ugh. Now I'm in like sort of a relaxing phase, you know, just, you know, it's like, it's like it feels like old school Minecraft again. We are, we're, we're doing these things. All right. Um, I definitely, definitely need a bucket because uh, to climb around this map, I'm go probably going to be using water a fair amount. So I'm probably going to want to have a bucket with me. So, okay, let's see here. Uh, bam, bam. Let's see. Oh God. Let's, let's, let's take a look at the mob situation down here. We got... We got, uh, we got a witch down there? Okay, the witch actually despawned. Okay, um, oh god, I almost fell off there. I need to be really, really careful. I mean, I guess if I fell off- uh, Oh my god, okay, okay, whoa, whoa, no, 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 Not yet, not yet. Okay, how am I gonna deal with that guy? How am I gonna deal with him? Uh, I guess just build a wall. Yeah, we will build a wall. As, as someone who's crazy would say. Okay, actually, this is going to be really sketchy. Um, is that skeleton still? Wait, I think the skeleton fell. I think, I think the skeleton fell. I think, I think the skeleton might have fallen. <laughs> oh my god, that was close. Okay, okay. Panic mode averted. Panic mode averted. Alright, so let's see here. So we got eight iron. Let's go ahead and let's just do this. I knew that this wasn't a very good idea, but I kind of had to do it. You know what? I just kind of realized I should break that right there so that, you know, a creeper cannot cross that gap silently and just own me. Okay, let's see. We got ourselves some iron pants. Uh, actually, I probably should be focusing on iron tools right now since we're kind of already here. Okay, let's see. Bam, bam. All right, cool. So iron pick, iron pick. I don't need to make an iron hoe. I don't know how much farming I'm going to actually have to do though. Bam, let's see here. Come on, just, just give me, just give me, give me. Oh, God. Okay, uh, there's a skeleton right there. I kind of, I kind of want to take that skeleton on. I, I don't know. I just feel like that might be a good idea. I don't know. Actually, I think that's a rather bad idea. Okay, let's see here. Bam, bam, bam. So I didn't even really need to use the stone tools all that much at all. Okay, I don't have any other food that I can cook up, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call this good right here and take this back. All right, all right. So. Actually, yeah, at this point, I don't think, let's see, is it almost sunrise or is it, no, it's, let's see, uh, it's, it's actually getting there, okay, because I was thinking if I head up there, there might be a lot of mobs up there at this point, like, I got lucky with that once, I don't think I'm gonna get lucky with that twice, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and I'm gonna take a look, you know what, no, I'm gonna head to this other side, because, um, you know, there's chickens and there's mobs over here, it's what I was doing to begin with, and I just need to, I just need to, yeah, I need to get some more food. Bam. Okay. I see that skeleton too. I really, like, I want to take him on. Oh, oh God. Oh God. I don't have a shield. I don't have a shield. Okay. I don't have a lot of health right now, but I do have enough food now, I think. Oh God. This is, uh, this is, it's not brutal. It's just, you know, it's the first night of Minecraft woes. All right, let's go ahead and let's do that. Uh, what do what, I need a shield? I bet a lot of you have probably wanted me to make a shield, so I have the resources to do that. Let's go ahead and let's just do it. Okay, bam, shield. Let's go ahead and let's. Oh God, is that guy already after me? No, I think he's just walking around. Okay, let's eat up. Let's eat up. Eat. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna recover health really slowly here, actually. 
Um, got an egg, I got a feather. Okay, um... If only I had a bow on me, actually, that would be really good right now. I hear that cow. That would be really, really useful to be able to kill that cow and get its food. Okay, okay, let's see here. So... Hmm. Alright, bam. So, so I need to find a different way up. Oh, actually, okay, it looks like there's an area over here that I can just kind of walk to. Uh, I need to be a little bit careful, though, as far as mobs. No, doesn't, it looks like I'm okay on the mob side of things. But, yeah, I need to get that cow. Okay, let's see. Where's that skeleton at? Is that skeleton up here? I want to own him. Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, I need to actually put this up. Bam! Get wrecked. Oh, God. Oh, God! Oh, my God! Whoo! 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 Okay. Okay, let's not do any of that today. We're, we're not going down without a fight, okay? Bring it, you guys. Bring it. Bring it. We're not going down without a fight. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's go ahead and let's climb back up here. Okay. 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 Okay I bet a skeleton's just gonna totally shoot me. Oh my god. I saw that cow right there and I'm like wait am I about to die? Well thinking that maybe it was like a different mob before I realized there was anything other than a brown mob there I just thought I was dead. All right, bam. Oh My god cows you need to die. Ah, uh, don't don't fall don't fall that that would be nice that could you like stay in my path? Or whatever that would be great all right so i don't know if like the mobs respawn or anything on this map i'm gonna guess no because that's just how minecraft mechanics work and that maybe i should probably keep these two cows alive for a farm later on or something i don't know wow there's a lot of supplies here okay so we got we got coal we got iron we're looking pretty good right now okay let's go ahead and let's cook the stuff up so that we can get our health back up we survived the first night which I was a little unsure if I was going to do in the first place, but it looks like we're good. Oh, there's- Wow. From up there, the pathway, that, like, train thing or whatever you want to call that, the, you know, those train tracks, lead directly into that cave. I bet that spirals into that cave right, right there. Okay, if I want resources, I'm going to have to go into that cave. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cook up this food, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna toss the beef in. And uh, yeah, I think episode one is gonna wind up landing around 30 minutes, and I know that we're about 20 minutes into this at this point. And I think that we're making pretty good progress, if I'm uh, if I do say so myself. There's a couple of really really close calls there, but I think we're looking pretty good. And uh, I do want to apologize, you know, now that we're like this far into this episode, I do want to apologize if at least in the first couple of episodes, I have a half decent ideas to where to go. And that's because I wound up actually doing a lot of the work on this map. So at least for the beginning, while all of that work is still fresh in my mind, like I know where to go in some cases, but not many of the cases, especially not the last half of the map. But I mean, even like, you know, the first three, you know, the last three quarters of the map. I don't really know. Like, but this immediate area I'm very familiar with because of all the beta testing that I did. So yeah. Okay. All right. So we got enough food. We got some cows still alive. Let's go ahead and let's eat up. Let's head into that cave. Let's get some supplies so that we can actually really start going on an adventure here. Okay. Let's see. Bam, bam. Ooh. Okay. Let's be careful. <sighs> All right, all right. Uh, oh, God. Okay, I just walked over that gap. That probably would have hurt to fall down from. All right, let's go and let's jump up this waterfall here. Let's head across. Let's see. There's nothing in that cave. I think we're good. I think we're okay. Uh, let's go and let's fall down here. Let's fall down here. All right. Okay. Uh, I actually may not have enough dirt to make it all the way back up. I might actually. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Almost enough. Actually, I think I can make this enough. Just like that. Just like that. And then let's go ahead and let's place a block right there. Let's place a block. How can I do this? Right there, I guess. I'm just going to have to, like, jump across or something. I, 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 I don't know. Let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's do... Let's see right there. Okay, there we go. Now I can get back up. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's check out this cave system over here because I think what I need to do is, again, I need to follow these sort of like train tracks or whatever they are. I can't imagine a train that does steep angles like this, so this must have been like an ogre minecart system or something. Oh, God. Okay, all right. Um, bam. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. No nobody panic. Nobody panic at the fact that I don't have torches right now. Um, you know, panicking, panicking is for losers, and we, we don't panic here because we're not losers. 
Alright, bam, bam. Uh, I was gonna say, where are the sticks that I very much just crafted? Alright, we're good. Okay, let's see here. So we, we're already conquering something. We're already, we're, oh god, we're, we're already in the depths of these mines. We, we are, we are moving. We are moving. Okay, I don't, I don't know if there's like a dungeon down here or anything. This area I'm not really too familiar with. Just like the top area I was kind of familiar with. Okay, bam, bam. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Again, nobody panic. I'm, I'm just like, you know, I'm just destroying ancient civilizations, like total, just their amount of work. You know, nobody, nobody panic, nobody worry, everything's fine. All right, so it's very clear that I'm going to be able to have enough iron in this episode to make full iron armor, which is awesome. That's pretty much the goal. Have some spare iron, have some spare coal, and then we can travel around with all of that. And I think that's good too. Like if I wind up dying in the series, I don't have to worry about like running out of resources or anything. These coal pot, these iron pockets are actually really big though. They're, they're like the amount that you see on the outside of the mountain seems like it would have been enough, but wow, I'm getting a lot of them on the insides of the mountain here. So, <laughs> Hey, I'm not complaining. All right. Bam, bam, bam. All right. So let's see how many do I have? I have 27 iron. That's going to be enough for a full iron set. So I probably should just take care of that. Like right now, let's go ahead and let's do this up here. All right. Uh, one, bam, just like that. Wow. 27, uh, eight, 16, 24. Okay. So I'm going to be, I'm going to fall short. But because I have a pair of iron leggings, I should already be good. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably rock it all the way to, say, like, when it turns nighttime out here and then just sleep it away. But then again, I'm not sure if I want to actually continuously sleep on this map. I'm not sure. So, we'll see. If you guys, again, if you guys have any suggestions, if you guys have any feedback while you're watching this episode, anything at all, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Um, with the exception of, eh, make a second furnace. Uh, fine, fine. I'll do that. I will do that because I have a lot to cook up here. All right. Good, good, good. <sighs> I'm, at, I'm like, at this point, I'm like kind of out of things to talk about. I'm all, I'm all talked out during this episode. This will probably be the longest episode of Ant Farm Corruption as well. I predict they'll be in 20 minute segments. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing any cutting around or anything like that. I may, I may not. I really don't know. All right, bam. And then let's go and let's take half of this. Cool. All right, so we got seven now, which is going to be enough for what? Nothing yet. Well, I, you know, a helmet or uh, feet. I was thinking like, will it be enough for a chest plate? Not will it be enough for anything? Okay, bam. Just like that. Just like that. Cool. And I'm also like physically kind of tired like IRL not in game because I I was up to like six o'clock five o'clock in the morning working on uh, Debugging some really bad issues with this map. So there's that. Let's see. Do I have any feet already? No, I don't well I have feet. I just don't have boots Yeah, I'm just <laughs> But yeah, I was up really late working on this map. There was a lot that I had to do so yeah, I, I, I've gotten very little sleep in the past couple of days working on this. Just making sure that it is refined and polished for when it winds up getting released. Which will be on May 1st, actually. If you guys have already checked the website on that, you already know. But uh, in case you didn't, this map will actually be released for the public on May 1st. And I don't think I have much left to do on the map. But we want to give it a few days just in case anything like maximum super breaks. Uh, oh, God. Okay. Any, in case anything ma maximum super breaks and I need to... Uh, Handle it. Okay, bam. Dude, shields are so awesome. You, like, you, you can't get me. You can't get me. You can't, you can't touch this. You can't touch this at all. All right, we got a creeper over there. All right, I guess I just, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to conquer this whole area. Oh, God, that cave looks like it goes pretty deep in there. That's what she said. Um, okay, everything's good. Everything's good. Let's see, I just don't want a creeper, that creeper that was uh, in front of me before to come up from behind. Okay, we're good. Oh god, the, where does this go to? Okay, uh, wow. I'm surprised there's a cave this big and a map that has so much open space. Oh, well, that answers that. It goes down there. Okay, maybe I don't want to go down there right now. Probably would be a pretty wise move to not go down there. But at least I know it's there in case I need like an easy way down. I mean, actually traversing around this map is really not going to be all that difficult because of the, you know, water buckets. I don't really have to worry about, uh, I don't have to worry about getting trapped at the bottom of a map or something and then building my way back up because I have water. 
So it's not really a problem. Okay, that skeleton is still after me. Okay, bam. I feel like the zombies should have some sort of special drop if, uh... If they wind up- if they wind up getting killed by a skeleton. Or there should be some kind of special drop if you shield kill a skeleton. I mean, look. Look, 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 look. Th this skeleton will eventually kill himself. I think. I think it should. Though, of course, I mean, it's gonna use durability on my shield to do it, but, I mean, come on! Kill yourself with my shield! I'm gonna shield bash you in a second. Maybe he can't hit himself with the last hit or something. Okay, no, there we go. Ah, crap. Okay. Well, whatever. But, dude, there should be some kind of perk for having the skeleton kill himself. Perfect. Alright, yep, I was right. I was right. This, uh, this whole cave system just comes down this way and wraps around where I was before. Awesome. So, yeah. Wow. We have a lot of progress that we need to wind up doing. It's almost sunset. We're 30 minutes into this. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off this episode here. I'm not going to record episode 2 until I get the feedback from episode 1. At least the first day's feedback. So, feel free to let me know in the comments. Let me know on Twitter at twitter.com slash antvenom. If you guys have any feedback that you would like to give on this map so far. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.